and two conventionally thrown touchdown passes. One to number five, Harmon Wages. And a second to his tight end, number 86, Jim Mitchell. And the Falcon 40 put together nearly a perfect game of football as they overwhelmed the Saints 28 to six. Twice, Shiner pierced the Browns' collapsing zone for touchdown. The first went to velvet-fingered rookie Ken Burrow, number 82. The second was a feathery lob to Jim Mitchell, a tight end whose star is on the rise. For Cleveland, it was their second straight hometown humiliation. For Atlanta, it was another leg up in the three-horse race in the NFC West. In the late stages of the game, there were foreshadowings of things to come. As a former Minnesota Viking, Burrow caught two other touchdown passes, which did count on the scoreboard. But the big surprise was number 11, quarterback Dick Shiner, who started the season by leading the Falcons to almost 500 yards worth of total offense against the seemingly disorganized Saints.